Hi, I'm Joanne Russell, past Wimbledon champion, doubles 1977. And now I've found pickleball and I love it. I'm gonna teach you how to move. So say we're starting out with somebody who is a total beginner. But you know what, they're pretty skillful. They can manage to get it over from the back and you're going, this person could be pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we wanna develop a volley. So you're gonna stand over there, right there is fine. Back up a teeny bit, go this, move this way, yes. So this is gonna be your target. You don't need to nail it through my head, it's just hit it to the target. And it is a straight punch. That's all I want is just straight to the ball. Okay, ready? Whoop. And straight, good. And straight, good, three. Four, five, oh, you're passing the test. Six, seven. All right, so now put, put, flip it over and have your forehand. We have the continental grip. You know, we're not going into detail here, but so here we go. Same grip. One, two, good. Three, okay, over here, come on. Four, five. And one thing about the volley, now that you're advanced plus that beginner stage, is that if you start your paddle like this and you finish, it's got to be the same. It can't be, oh, I hit it and I flopped it. There's no flopping. Because I don't know what it is, but somehow you, you change the face of the paddle and the ball will go in the net. So that's what you want. So now you've, you've literally advanced. You can hit it to a target. It's just a straight punch. Now both of you are gonna go on the other side. And you both can be fairly close together because you're, yeah, like that, that's fine. Because you're gonna do that straight punch right back to me. So, okay, right here's the target. Over here's the target. Come on, see, you gotta get it, you gotta get it towards me. So punch to the two hands. Good. See, because then you know what the face of your paddle is doing. If, if it's always going from your side here, always going over there, you've got it too much, too, too early. Because then it's almost facing the wall. That's why I'm having to reach over and get it there. You don't want to be too far out because then you, you lean and reach too out. Uh, right here, I can attest to that. So you want to have that comfortable. And if you want it for, you just lean. Not squat, you lean forward like this. And so when I'm hitting volleys, I try to keep my eye, like if the ball is here, I don't have to be right here. But I don't want to be way up here and the ball is there because then you kind of lose it. You want to keep your head steady. Like, my coach, he was so funny. He would bring a Burger King. He would, you know, they used to give these paper crowns. So he put this crown just on my head and he would be, I would be up here at the net. Now this is tennis, but it applies to pickleball. And he said, keep that thing on your head. And he would toss a ball and I would have to go. And he would go there and if it was up here, it, this had to be perfectly still. And the reason is, your head is heavy. And the other thing that's heavy is your butt. Your butt is heavy, your head is heavy. So think about it. If the ball comes and you shift your hips forward, where does your head go? It goes that way because they're all counterbalancing each other. So I want my head to be slightly in front because then look, if my feet are slightly wider than my shoulders, I'm down, I can get anything. So if I'm tossing you the ball and you want to volley it, yep. Okay. And yes, we have to be along this line. That is the difference maker from tennis to pickleball. We cannot close on the net. So I just went, okay, I'm closing on the kitchen line. Like when I come in, I get here and I close on this line. Like I get here and I'm ready. Yep, and go. Good one, absolutely. Good, come on. 
and your eyes are where you can see the ball. Yep, keep your head steady. Good, beautiful, beautiful. Woo. Very nice, very nice. I like that. So there you go. Each of you, the ball got lower and lower and you went, because you need to see the ball to hit it. Okay, so now we're gonna let Mo do this one. Okay, so I am going to toss once again because, you know, not everybody can feed and you wanna practice. So, I'm gonna to toss it and you're gonna use the same footwork that you used earlier to learn how to dink, go back and forth, because we have to stay out of the kitchen because we're hitting it in the air. So first, you're just gonna hit it right back to me. So, ready, good, and go. Oh, that's a little high. You, your partner won't like you if you hit it that high. So go, there you go. Now get over there, move and step over there. One step over, yes. One step over, one step, big step. Okay, come on, big step. Just cooperative, you, except you're moving. One step, good. One step, yes. And push your face towards the ball. So you really see it, yeah, that's a better volley. Yep, and go, yes. Whoops, good one, and go. All right, since you're, you're Improving leaps and bounds. So now I'm gonna to toss it at your left shoulder and you have to hit a forehand. So when I say forehand, you move one step, one step, here, let me show you. One step, you hit a forehand, you move to the middle. One step, you hit a backhand. And it's just, once again, the side to side move. So ready, go, forehand, yes. And backhand, backhand, yes, good. Forehand, now get your eyes where the ball is. Okay, and forehand, very nice. And backhand, ooh, that was a tough one. And go, and go. Okay, good, now we're gonna pick it up a little bit. Forehand over here, forehand, good. Backhand, beautiful. Forehand, forehand, good. Now don't stand up to hit this, forehand. Forehand, okay, now get down there, get down there. Yeah, sorry about that backhand. Here, I'll take that, yep. Okay, forehand, forehand. Okay, forehand again, forehand, yep. Step in, one foot in, one foot, one foot. Come on, one foot, good, get out, go. Okay, so now, whatever I say, you have to do it. Okay, ready, forehand. Okay, now you went from here all the way around and hit it down here. Keep your paddle up. You're down here. Okay, ready, forehand again, forehand. Yes, that's much better. Forehand again, forehand. Okay, now get it higher. See, you're going here and then like this. Keep it higher. You might get lower, but keep your paddle up if you can. Okay, ready, forehand. Yes, forehand, forehand again. One foot, good, one foot, excellent. Let's do that again. Okay, one foot in, left foot, left foot, good. Hit a backhand, left foot, yes, do it again. Left foot, good, volley, whoops, go. There you go, step, okay, yup, good decision. What do you hit, yes. Always a backhand if it comes straight at you, because you can hit a backhand from way over here, here, and even there. So fantastic shot, good. And this is a very nice one to practice. Backhand, yep. Okay, ready? Oh, now, since you're so good, I'm gonna hit something to you. Okay, ready? Backhand, good. Ready, backhand. Good, here we go, come on. Keep it low. If it's going up high, something's happening here. Okay, get behind it, yeah, go, good. So 
So if it goes out wide, get your foot over there. And even if it's just one step because it comes so fast, you can't make a skip. And I know you are a little bit shorter than I am. And, you know, I can go over here and come back. But once you get used to it, so just one step, no, no two skips. Just pick that outside leg up and step over there. Yes. Do it again. Yep. Do it again. Yep. Good one. And go. Yes. And see how much more solid it is when you get this over, you come back. This over, you come back. Instead of skippity, skippity, skippity. But you're, you're doing really well, so just keep working on it. You know, it doesn't come overnight. But if you think like this, uh, where I'm from, we have a big fishing pier. So what do you think they put in first? Do you think they put the, laid the planks down first? No, they put the pylons in first. So you've got to put a pylon in first, and then you lay the plank. So every time, even if you're a little short, you've got to lay the groundwork. So put it in there, yeah. So if it's over there, no, don't lean. Use your feet. Take a big step. Go, yes. Go, yes. That's it. Ready? Take a big step, yep. Good, go, good, go, excellent, go, good one. Now what do you hit? Backhand, perfect.